Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you like what you see, be sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on post notifications to never miss a brand new video again. Hey guys, Javin here. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about the topic of how to make your haircut last longer. This is a topic that I'm sure a lot of you are wondering about because if you're someone who cuts hair at a barbershop pretty frequently, the cost of cutting hair can slowly add up. Even if you just spend $30 every single month on a haircut, that's still $360 a year. So being able to maintain your hairstyle longer between each haircut is a good way to save some money. One of the best investments a guy can make is by buying a hair trimmer. I just use a regular Wallace trimmer that can be bought at Amazon or Walmart. So now all the tools I'll be using can be found in the bio description so you can check that in case you want to buy one. Anyway, by being able to trim your hair every few weeks, you don't need to go to the barber as often anymore. When trimming your hair, you want to pay close attention to hair around your ears. By keeping the hair around your ears and bottom back hair tidy, people will just assume you've recently got a trim at the barber's and rocking a medium hairstyle. If you simply want to make your hair cut last longer, one of the best ways is to have a longer hairstyle to begin with. If you're someone who likes those skin fade haircuts, this will not work for you. You have to shave your sides every two weeks or so or your hairstyle will not look as good as it grows out. If you want a medium hairstyle like mine, it makes your job so much easier in being able to trim your hair to maintain its appearance. As a general rule, the longer your hair, the longer you can go between haircuts. Right now, I'm mainly just trimming the hair around my ears so no hair touches it. I'm also using clipper number 4 to trim my side hair and lower back hair so it's slightly shorter. As for my bottom hair on the back, I use clipper number 1 to trim it short. I'm not good in fading hair at all so my back hair kind of looks bad from no fading, but I'm working on it. As for my top hair, I use thinning shears just to remove some of that bulk without losing my hair length. I also use hair cutting scissors to trim some length on my hair fringe and top hair. Just wanted to take this time to talk about some products from my friend's online store. He gave me these products just to review and I decided to give this shout out for him. So the first one is this cool looking little night lamp that can change to many different colors. The glow is really nice and makes for nice decoration as well. To change its color, you can just hit it or squish the wheel lamp. Honestly, when I first saw this, I thought it was a really unique item, so I'm sure you guys will like it as well. The second product I have is this wooden clock. The great thing about it is you can also charge your phone wirelessly on the top of it. It looks great on your desk and seriously guys, it looks pretty cool in real life. When the clock is turned off, it just looks like a regular piece of wooden block. But when you turn it on, suddenly the lights come out and you can see time again. Anyway, if you wanted to check out my friend's store, he gave me this discount code you can use. The discount code is called JVF15 for 15% off any products that he's selling and mainly the website sells lighting products like floor lamps and night lights. After showering, here you can see how my hair looks. Yes, there's not much of a difference before and after, as I only trim my hair a little bit, but my main goal is just to look more tidy with my longer hairstyle. And that's it for today's video. Hopefully, I have encouraged you to try cutting your hair by yourself at home. Definitely learn the basics of feeding your hair before trying it yourself to avoid a bad haircut. Thanks for watching this video guys, if you like it, let me know down in the comments below and check back next time.